why did you decide to use peer feedback with your students? Um, I wanted to use peer feedback so that they get used to the idea of the range of work that students produce, that they get more of an idea about how to place themselves within a class, uh, and uh, just to sort of learn by the process of giving feedback themselves uh, about what is good work and what isn't good work. And briefly, could you explain to us what you did? Okay, so what we did is we used question mark perception to produce uh, a proof format that the people and uh, the students would, would fill in. Uh, and then we wrote a database. And, and what happens is that we suck the data that students entered into this database. They turn up at the teaching studio and sit down at tables and they identify themselves as part of a group sitting at the same table. And then we rotate the work that's been previously submitted by each of the individuals from one group to another group. And then they give feedback to each other. It happens online and we have pre-assembled drop-down feedback, uh, specific for each question. They can edit this uh, themselves if they don't think it's appropriate or they can author new feedback um, that then at the end that all goes back um, to the uh, original authors. So the idea is having given feedback to yourself you, you build up a sort of expertise of doing it but you're also more engaged because you sort of think what did those other people do to mine and therefore you're more critical. So that was the uh, idea behind it. So you've outlined there some of the benefits, the engagement. Were there any particular pitfalls or problems that you came across? Oh yes, of course. Um, that uh, you know, Things that we knew that we were doing wrong, it's just we didn't have time to do anything about it. But uh, uh, a number of things I think would be the preparation beforehand to let them know. Secondly was you have to change the exercise to be fit for the new purpose. I was just making it work as we'd used it before when we had an expert marker doing it. I think there were too many questions. I think the other thing which is a, a, a sort of old bloke kind of problem was I sort of thought oh the students are going to want to know uh, what all the feedback is you know, listed out you know they won't be able to get it from the screen and what happened was that some of the students were sneakily uh, dividing off and using this crib sheet to look at only their own feedback and then to disappear so I'm going to stop that for, for one um, and uh, uh, so um, those are the sort of things we learn, and you know, some of them I knew I was doing wrong, and some of them I've learned I'm doing wrong, doing wrong. But in this first iteration, we, we were really just uh, concentrating on getting it to work, and uh, that was the main thing. Now we've got this machine to, to, to uh, this workbench, uh, then we can sort of think about uh, getting the pedagogy right, and you know, to move on from there. And were there any unexpected benefits that you came across? Um, yes, I, I, um, well, things we hoped for, yeah, I, I, um, you know, I, I overheard students talking and looking at uh, a, a, a more discursive p a piece of uh, um, input that the student put in, and they were saying, oh, this isn't as good as, uh, uh, as the ones we've seen before, oh, it's waffly, they've just put everything in, you know, hoping that the marker is going to make sense of it, but, you know, it's not really very good, is it? And, you know, the feeling was to go, kerching, yes, I get this all the time, and, you know, these students were then getting, you know, a view of, you know, what is a what is a good answer, what's succinct, and getting the idea from, from a marker's point of view. I suppose it was a little disappointing in that, but maybe not surprising, that they were looking at it, oh, this is a way to look at things from a marker's view. Nobody was yet getting to the point of saying, um, this was just helping you generally, you know, say for the rest of your life, know how to write succinctly, how to write to the point. But of course, I didn't prepare them for that. And, you know, again, if I'm doing it again, I'm going to try, you know, more of the, the hard sell, more of the preparation of letting them, the students, into, you know, the pedagogical aims of it and, uh, you know, to, to set it up properly. Great. Thank you very much indeed.